everyone here, I hope you're well. Uh, today I want to show you a practical activity uh, to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Now the perimeter is the measurement of the total distance around the outside of a shape. So let's take a look at what we're going to need uh, for this activity. So for this you'll need some straws or some string, uh, so you can build a rectangle with. So you'll be building different sizes of rectangles, so you'll need a fair bit of string and a few straws. You'll need some scissors to cut your string or your straws. Uh, you'll need a ruler to measure out those lengths and find the perimeter. And you'll need a pen uh, to do the calculations with. And to extend the activity, you may want a dice or some digit cards to create a total perimeter at the end. And what you do is you'll take your straws or your string and you'll measure them out into pairs. So if I have one straw at five centimeters, you want another straw at five centimeters. And what you'll do is you'll build a rectangle. So for instance, I've got two pairs of lengths of straw here. So I've got one at 11, just over 11, 12 centimeters. So I know this side is 12 centimeters here, making sure you put the units on. And this side up here is 12 centimeters. And then it's about measuring all the sides as well. It's very tricky with one hand. And we've got four centimeters on those sides there. So once you've cut your straws or your string, you've built the rectangle and your child has measured the sides, it's then about the child finding the total perimeter. And they find that by adding up all the sides. So it would be, in this case, 12, add 12, add 4, add 4. And then you put your answer in, making sure you have your answer in centimeters. So we've got 12, 24, and we've got 28 and 32. So the total perimeter for this shape here that you've built with straws is 32 centimeters because I've added up all those sides to get the distance around the outside of the shape. And you may mix that up. You might do smaller ones, larger ones. Again, uh, adding up those sides to get the total perimeter. Again, you may measure it because there's more than one way you can find the perimeter. So this one is eight, and you could say, if you know this side is eight, then what is this side going to be? What is this edge going to be? And your child should say, well, this side is the same length as this side, and I know this side is eight centimeters. This one's opposite, it's the same length, so it must be eight centimeters. And you could do the same for different sides there. Now I know this one is 3.5 centimeters, which makes this 3.5. So more maths questions you can get in there. How many millimeters are in a centimeter? Um, the, the older your child is, be sure maybe year four, year five, year six should be using millimeters uh, and decimals to show those measurements with. Um, so the other way, instead of adding up each side is taking the length and the width. So we know eight and 3.5. So that's 11.5 centimeters those two together, those two there, we've added those two together. And you could times that by two because they're the same lens there and we're just doubling it. And that's the other way you could find perimeter. And it's about asking your child why that works as well as adding up each individual side as well. So that's one thing you could do. And remember you could use string as well. Um, I suppose you could cut up paper as well, different colored pieces of paper. Um, but I find straws works quite well, nice and colourful, very bright and visual uh, for your child to work with. The other thing you could do is generate a number with a dice uh, or digit cards and essentially you're going to do this in reverse, finding the perimeter in reverse. So by rolling the dice we've got a 4, put that up here. So I'm going to do a 2 digit, so 2 rolls and I've got a 3. So we've got a perimeter of 43 centimeters and then you could ask your child to go away and draw a shape whether it's 43 whether it's 50 whatever it may be that you've rolled or turned over the digit cards the child then draws a uh, shape or they 
cut it out with string and straws. So they're doing the perimeter in reverse. You're giving them perimeter and then they're making the shape uh, with that. So for instance here, you may have a side at 20. I won't be using a ruler, but you should be because I'm doing it one handed. You may have 20 centimeters there. You may have five centimeters there. I know it's not relative to sizes. And then that's going to be the same and that's going to be the same. And you've got a total of 50 centimeters. So you're giving them it in reverse. So there's two different things you could do there to help you find the perimeter of a rectangle. Let me turn this around. So just a nice couple of ideas there you could use to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Uh, those activities will be available on the Classroom Secrets uh, timetable over on classroomsecrets.co.uk. Hope you found it useful and uh, please do share any comments in the table and do check out the timetable for more ideas, more practical ideas uh, to help you. Thank you very much.